Hi everyone, this is Tiffany with Raising House and Home. Come along with me as we shop for our regular weekly groceries and our cookie recipe extravaganza. So we're headed to Shaw's because Walmart does not sell molasses anymore and I need them for my cookie recipes. I have some gingerbread cookie recipes and um, I might make some gingerbread. So I'm going to try to see if they have any at Shaw's so you guys can come in with me. You might not be able to hear me because I have my mask on, but they have the bigger one or the fancy molasses. So I think I'm going to get this one just because it's only $3.49. So I'll grab that one. Looks like everyone's baking their gingerbread treats. That was $6.49. Good morning. I tried to get this video going last night after I did all of our shopping, but we ended up going to a Christmas light display and it was way too late when we got back. So you are seeing the after, the day after. <laughs> um, but we had such a great time last night. I will put a link up here in the right hand corner. I did get videos of it. Um, and it was such a beautiful light display that you could drive through. So I'm excited to share that with you. So again, click up here in the right hand section and you can watch that video. And now on to our grocery haul. Now, most of this stuff is for the holiday baking. So I do have a few things that are regular like prepping or just our regular weekly meals but a lot of this was getting ready for my baking videos for all the, the Christmas cookies that I'm gonna make. So I'll start over here. And it is a mix of Shaw's, as you saw in the beginning of the video, <laughs> it's a mix of Shaw's and Walmart. So um, they are all mixed in, um, but I'm sure you can tell the great value brand, that is definitely Walmart. So I got a bag of walnuts and they're chopped. Those are about $3.90. And then over here, I got a bag of organic brown rice flour. I have a really interesting recipe that I found for Christmas cookies that have rice flour. And I think that it will probably need white rice flour, but I could only find brown. And the recipe didn't specify, so fingers crossed that it works out. I'm sure that it will taste good. <laughs> and then over here, we have some chopped pecans and or pecans, however you say it. <laughs> um, and that will be for two of my recipes that I am going to do. And then here is the molasses that I couldn't find at Walmart. They just don't sell it anymore. And I'm, I'm shocked because I buy molasses a lot. We have um, several recipes throughout the year that I use um, the molasses for. So let me know in the comments below if they still sell molasses at your Walmart because they definitely don't at mine. I asked a, a customer service rep and they, they said they no longer sell it, so I don't know. And then I got two of these Hershey Kisses bags because I make Hershey Kiss cookies for Christmas every year. My whole table will be covered with them and I'll probably need more bags than this, but this was a good starting point. <laughs> and then I got these sprinkles for Christmas cookies for our, um, sugar cookies that we make at Christmas Eve. And then over here, I got some dark chocolate chocolate chips, some white chocolate chocolate chips, because I am going to do a new recipe that involves gingerbread and white chocolate. So that seemed very interesting to me and I haven't seen that before. So I'm excited to do that video as well and to try them. <laughs> 
And then I have the pure vanilla extract. I don't cook with vanilla very often, even when a recipe calls for it, I just omit it. And I don't notice much difference, but where it's Christmas and I'm gonna be doing videos um, on how to cook these cookies, I figured I would get all the ingredients. <laughs> so that way, you know, it'll be authentic. And then I got this bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips at Shaw's. And the only reason why I bought them is because I had a really good discount. I had a um, digital coupon, so they were very cheap. Uh, I think I spent 75 cents for that bag and I'm sure I'll use them. If not for Christmas cooking, I will use it for cookies later on in the year. And then over here, I have the Chobani yogurt. This is the first time I've been able to get this in a while. I've had to use either the Great Value brand or the smaller containers and I could only get like two or three at a time. So I was glad to find that yesterday. And then I got a package of cottage cheese because I'm going to make some lasagna this week. It's an easy meal that feeds a lot of people and it has leftovers usually. So that is a, definitely a benefit when you have these busy mom <laughs> months of the holidays. And then over here, I have the red raspberry jam. And I got this because there's two recipes I'm going to make um, for Christmas cookies that call for raspberry jam. So most of this will be used up. There won't be any going to waste and what doesn't get used up. Um, my husband loves this jam, so he will eat it with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, and probably the kids might try it too. And then I have heavy whipping cream. Again, that is for a recipe. And whatever we don't use, my husband can use in his coffee for creamer. I'm very cautious about buying ingredients for recipes that I haven't tried before or buying an, an extra ingredient that you only need a little tiny bit for one recipe because then it's expensive if you just let it go to waste. So I try to find recipes that call for ingredients that I can use in several different ways and that's how I stay frugal. Um, with our grocery shopping and you don't feel like you're missing out because you can still do Christmas cookies and all those fun recipes. So that's just one of my tips for you all. <laughs> and then I got two bags of confectioner's sugar. I don't think I'll need this many, um, but I figured I would just get two because whatever I don't use, I can put in my pantry. And then one of the recipes calls for dark brown sugar. And then I also have um, a few other recipes that I will make in January, February, um, that I can use it as well. So that won't go to waste. And then I got two bags of the light brown sugar. And I am pretty sure we'll use all of this <laughs> this whole month. I'm, I'm sure that we will. Um, and into January. We go through a lot of brown sugar. Um, and then I got some thin sliced roast beef and some thin sliced honey turkey breast. This is at Walmart. And I like these for quick lunches or we make sandwich wraps. Um, and sometimes, let's be honest, sometimes the teenagers and the kids, they open up the door and they just have a piece of meat <laughs> for a snack. And I'm not gonna complain because it could be something more sweet and worse for them. So, so I like to keep that on hand. And then I got another one of these packages. I've really been lucky to find these in the clearance section. They just are like broken open as you can see. Someone already took one. That was one of us. Like it had all of them in it, but I think that the package on the outside had just gotten ripped. But every single package that's individually wrapped is still intact. So I saved $1.59 at Walmart, which is nice because they don't have sales or coupons or things like that. So when you can save on their clearance section, it is a huge help. So I grabbed those. And then over here, oh, I wanna show you this too. So if you saw my other video uh, about the Dollar Tree decorations I put up uh, about a week or two ago, um, this tray looked a lot different. And so I was so happy because I finally found where I wanted to put this little, um, I don't know, candle wreath maybe you would call it. I put that right there and then I put the sign right behind it and I love it. I haven't filled up these bowls yet. Um, but I will probably tomorrow as it gets a little closer to Christmas because the candy will go super fast and the nuts will go super fast. And I like to have them like the whole week before Christmas and then at Christmas, like Christmas day um, for our company to be able to eat. So I don't like to fill them up too soon. <laughs> and 
And then over here, we have two gallons of milk and a gallon of chocolate milk. Pretend that that is full. <laughs> it would have been full last night, but when we got back from the um, Gardens Aglow Christmas display, uh, we had supper and the kids had chocolate milk with it as a treat. So just pretend that's full. <laughs> and then I got some Frosted Flakes that were on clearance at Shaw's. And I wish I'd had a coupon for them. They would have been a lot cheaper, but um, I have one of my children that just loves Frosted Flakes. It's pretty much the only breakfast cereal that he'll eat. There's a few others he kind of likes, but this is his favorite. And he will actually snack on this sometimes, uh, just dry. So that was a good deal to get. And then I got two of these um, ground hamburger and it was $16.28, $3.99 a pound. But I had a digital coupon for, I think it was $1.97 a pound. And it was a limit of two. So I did not pay that price. I only paid, um, well, less than half of the normal price for both of those. So that was a really good deal. And I was sure to get that. We've been eating out of our freezer because I need to rotate some of the meat. But I couldn't pass this up. So I will put this at the bottom of my freezer. And that way, the newer stuff will get used later on. And then here's the eggs. And if you saw previously in this video when I showed you when I was in the store, I picked up one package and it was all this yellow dried yolk. And so I had to put it back down and there was quite a few that had it, but it was like inside the wrapper and there were people behind me and <laughs> they were probably wondering what I was doing because I was videoing and taking quite a while to try to pick one that wasn't dirty. And I don't think they could see behind me that there was like yellow goop everywhere um so this one was the cleanest and this is just on the outside so i'm gonna wipe that down i didn't i think i wiped yeah i did wipe down some of it but i missed that one last night because we were in a hurry um but yeah so it's a two pack of 18 eggs and this is just gonna last me a few days with all the cooking that i'm doing but i can go back and get more i i probably would have picked up two if it wasn't for the gross uh yolk explosion <laughs> and then over here um, I did buy these big bags at Shaw's of vegetables because we've been going qu through quite a bit I know I just did a massive uh, vegetable haul but I don't know we're, we've just been really vegetable heavy lately so I wanted to grab these especially while they're on sale I like to get these bigger bags usually it's about half this size um, just trying to see if, yeah these are the 32 ounce bags and so when I can grab them, I do. So I got the cauliflower, the green beans, the peas, and then I got these petite green beans, the whole ones, because those are a nice thing to have like roasted with olive oil and like a sheet pan dinner. They look pretty too. And then over here is two of the freshetta pizzas. Pretend that those are full. They are not, secret. <laughs> I'm spilling the secrets. They're not full. <laughs> um, those are the empty boxes because they were on sale for a digital coupon of two, I think it was $2.97 a pizza. And I knew we were gonna get home late um, last night. So I decided I'll just get some frozen pizzas for cheap. I mean, it was maybe $6 for two pizzas. And that's what we ended up having for dinner when we got home um, and with the chocolate milk. So, <laughs> so this is uh, all we got for this week. And it's kind of a, a good mixture of, I guess just, what life is, is there's some prepper stuff, there's some Christmas holiday stuff, and there's just some daily living uh, items. So I'm so glad that you guys stopped by to see my hauls, and I appreciate all of your comments and your likes, and my subscribers are going up so high, so fast, I'm, I just, I'm amazed, and I, I thank you guys so much. So please click like if you like this video, Click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I put up new videos. And I hope that you guys are all having a happy, stress-free holiday time, uh, getting everything that you need to get, and just enjoying some family time. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, bye!